If you're running a Proxmox server, you already know all about the power of VMs and containers. But what about that constant pain of sharing files between them and the host? Well, there's this feature. It's kind of been flying under the radar, and it might just be the solution you've been looking for. It's called Vert IOFS. All right, let's just dive right in with a problem that I know, I just know, a lot of you have run into. Getting files from your Proxmox host into your virtual machines. Right? It always feels like it should be simple, but it ends up being so much more complicated than it needs to be. You know, for years, we've kind of relied on the same old methods. But let's be real, every single one of them comes with its own headache, its own set of complexities, and some pretty painful trade-offs. And this right here? This is the classic dilemma, isn't it? On one hand, you've got your network shares, you know, Samba, NFS. Super powerful, for sure. But man, getting those permissions and the networking to play nice, it can be an absolute nightmare. Then, on the other side, you've got LXC container mounts. They are so simple, which is great, but you lose all that rock-solid isolation that you get with a full-blown VM. So we're all stuck in this constant back and forth, right? We're all looking for that perfect sweet spot, that middle ground. We want the it-just-works simplicity of a container mount, but with the full security and total isolation of a virtual machine. And that, that is where the hero of our story comes in. Meet Vert IOFS. This thing was literally built from the ground up to solve this exact problem. It's all about bridging that gap between your host and your guest OS. Now here's the really important part. Virtue IOFS isn't some hack or a clever workaround. No, it's a native shared file system designed from day one just for virtualization. It uses that super fast Virtue.io transport, the same one QMU and KVM already use for other devices. And what does that mean? Well, it means it completely bypasses the entire network stack. Yep, no more messing with that labyrinth of network permissions. And this user's comment? It's that perfect aha moment. I mean, think about it. They were stuck using containers just for easy file sharing, even when they really needed the better isolation of a VM for their VPN. Virtue IFS came in and just gave them the best of both worlds. Problem solved. And this right here is the core of why this thing is catching on like wildfire. It solves the exact problem that keeps people chained to containers. It makes that move to a more flexible, more isolated VM setup totally painless. And if you're a Docker user, oh man, managing your persistent volumes just became ridiculously simple. Okay, so that's the theory. But let's talk about how this actually plays out in the real world, because this isn't just on paper. People are out there right now using Vert IOFS to build some seriously clean and efficient home labs. Honestly, the versatility is what's just so impressive. You've got power users passing entire ZFS data sets directly into their VMs, totally sidestepping all that network share complexity. And again, for anyone running Docker inside a VM, this is an absolute game changer. Seriously. Managing those persistent data volumes becomes a piece of cake. Check this out. This is just a perfect example of a modern, really elegant setup. So the VM itself, it's living on fast SSD storage for speed, but all the bulk data, that's coming from a big ZFS pool on the host, and it's just passed in directly with Vert IOFS. I mean, that is the kind of clean, logical setup that we're all shooting for, right? Okay, but let's be real, it's not a magic bullet for every single situation. To really get the full picture, we've got to talk about where it really shines and where, you know, you might still want to stick with the old ways. And here it is, the biggest trade-off, raw speed. I mean, just look at these numbers. For really heavy, constant disk I.O., a dedicated block device like Vert.io SCSI is just, well, it's in a different league. It's way, way faster. So think of Vert.io FS for convenient file access, not for replacing, say, a high-performance database drive. That's not what it's for. So the key takeaway here is pretty simple. Use the right tool for the job. It's also worth noting, some folks have seen a few stability hiccups on Windows when they're moving massive terabyte scale files, which that probably just comes down to the drivers getting more mature over time. So again, think of it as your go-to tool for convenience and simplicity, not for hitting maximum throughput. Okay, so with all that in mind, who is this actually for? Should you go and tear down all your Samba shares right now and switch everything over? Well, let's figure that out. You know, I absolutely love this point because it really nails the biggest advantage of VertIOFS. It is just so simple. Sometimes not even knowing about the old complicated ways means you get to jump straight to the better solution. 
It makes things so much easier for newcomers, and honestly, it just simplifies life for us veterans too. And the setup itself? It's literally as easy as adding a mount point in the VM's hardware tab. That's it. All right, let's just run through a quick checklist together. Ask yourself this. Do you need a dead simple way to get data from your host into a VM? Check. Are you thinking about moving some services from a container over to a full VM? Check. Do you run Docker inside VMs and just want painless persistent volumes? And here's the big one. Are you willing to trade a little bit of raw speed for a setup that is just plain easy? If you're sitting there nodding your head to these, then yeah, Vertio FS is absolutely for you. Look, for the vast majority of us using Proxmox, Vertio FS solves a problem we've been dealing with for years, and it does it with an elegance that's just hard to beat. It fits perfectly into modern workflows, it makes moving from containers to VMs a breeze, and it gives us that it just works experience we're all desperately looking for. Which really just leaves one last question for you to think about as you look at your own setup.